Okay, so here we go. We've got our boomerang game which you should have made last time. Now this is a little extension that you can do with this. Um, I thought it would be good to add a bit of jeopardy, but let's just check that this actually works. So I'm just going to press the green flag here and I can move my character around, point at an apple and I can throw the boomerang and the score goes up as well. So this all sort of works as quite a nice little game. Obviously if I move it, you can then the boomerang always comes back, which is quite nice. Okay, so that all works. Brilliant. Now, what I thought we could do is add a little bit of jeopardy. Okay, so what I'm thinking is that we could have some sort of character that is going to chase the cat. And if it gets to the cat, it is going to take away some points. So it's going to knock your score down by one. Okay, so let's have a look. So what I want to do here is I'm going to go for choose a sprite. I'm going to search. And what I'm going to do is, yeah, let's have a bat because actually he flaps his wings and that's that's quite nice. So I'm going to go for a bat. Okay, so he's a bit big, so I'm going to change the size down to, I don't know, 20. You can experiment with the size that you want. Perfect. Okay, I'm just going to make the workspace a bit area bigger where we can do our code. And then what we want to do is think about what we want to happen. So I want this bat to appear randomly on the page. So obviously the first thing that I'm going to need to do is go to events. I'm going to go for when clicked. Let's zoom this in a bit. Okay, so I'm going to go for when clicked. I'm going to want something to happen. Well, first thing in a strange way, I'm going to want him to hide just in case he was visible last time. I want to because I want to move him to a place so I just want to make sure he's hidden I don't want it to start straight away in the game so I'm going to wait five seconds I'm going to wait five seconds for that and then in motion you can actually tell him to go to a random position which is quite useful so and then obviously I'm probably going to want to make him show so let's just check that that works Okay, so when clicked, one, two, three, four, five, and he's appeared over there. Okay, you can just about see him behind the score. There he is. Okay, so that works. Brilliant. So, what I now want to do is I want to put something in that is going to, I don't want the the bat to suddenly appear right on top of the cat because that would be unfair and you'd lose a point straight away and it that'd just be unfair. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use some of these control blocks and I'm going to use a repeat until something is true. So what I'm going to say is I want only want the cat to basically appear when it's more than say 100 pixels away from the cat. So let's put this in here. I'm going to put 100 and I can go to sensing here and down here I've got something somewhere. Where is it? Distance to or repeat until distance. That's it. Distance to mouse pointer. Well, I want distance to cat. Brilliant. And then what I want it to do, obviously, is go to a random position. Right. So this will repeat until it's in the right place, until that is more than 100. So it gives you a bit of a chance. So what I'm then going to do is obviously want it to show. And then I'm going to want the bat to start chasing after the cat. So we're going to use another repeat until block here. We're going to say repeat until, and this time I want to say touching the cat. So touching mouse pointer, change that to touching the cat. So I want it to repeat until it touches the cat. Well, how is it going to get to the cat? Well, it needs to face towards the cat. So we're going to tell it to point towards the cat. Then what we want it to do is we want it to move. So let's get it to move some steps. Um, let's move it five steps. And also I'm going to put a little wait command here. From experience I know that it can whiz through these very quickly and it almost makes it impossible. Okay, and what I'll also do, I'd, I'd like him to flap his wings as he's going. So I'm going to go to looks and I'm going to choose next costume. 
just like that. Okay, so once he's done that, point towards the cat, move five steps, wait a second, next costume. So this will stop when it's touching the cat. So it repeats until touching the cat. So once it's done that, well, I think he's going to have to hide because I don't want to see him. He's going to disappear and come back again. He's going to hide. I think we need to change the score by one. So I'm going to go to variables and change my variable one by one to change score by uh, minus one, actually. By minus one. And then I think I'm going to get him to wait a few seconds. So let's go for wait. Oops. Uh, wait. Let's make him wait three seconds. Brilliant. Okay, so what we've got here, um, if I join that up on now, this is only going to run once. And actually, I want it to run all the time because there might be, he might come back a couple of times. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a forever block in here and just, just chuck that in there like that. So now, it seems a bit long, but hopefully you've seen how we've put it together. Using these repeat until something is true, we can make it do something. So let's just make this a bit bigger. And let's see if we this works. So can I move my character around still? I can get some points. And yep, there, there he is. So let's let the bat go. My score's three. It's a bit slow. I could be a bit faster. Will it go down to... Uh, yes, score's gone down by one, so that works. So you might be able to add other characters that will also come and do different things. Maybe you could add different apples. Maybe you could have a bad apple or a really valuable apple that could be worth 10 points. So you could make one of these as a golden apple, but also make it move. So there's lots of things that you can play around with with this to make the game better. So enjoy tinkering around, um, but hopefully you'll be able to add that little bit of jeopardy with our bat that takes away points.